Spirit of Truth, with the great Holy Spirit in our name, and to know the glory of God in our lives, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. My heavenly Father, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, that we are. I ask, O oh God, that you search everything, O oh God, about me from my mother's womb to this very earth. Lord Jesus, I ask every error you can see right here to me. Father, I beg you to have mercy upon me. Any sin I have ever committed or any discharge against me right now, most especially if my name has been taken away from the book of life. As I'm here, O oh God, before I continue, I present myself before you, be your Lord. That you show me mercy and write my name, O oh God, back to the book of life and use your blood to secure it for me to come and living with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I pray for your sons and daughters, bring their pride before you from their own answer to this very point, O oh God. That they please search them. Anything that we have done for you, the most especially if your names have been taken off in the book of life, even as we are starting here, have mercy and write it and every name back to the book of life and use your precious blood to secure it, O Lord, that at the end we all will all rejoice and live with you in heaven in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 I decrease that you increase. I step down and I step up. I step out and you step in and take what you come to me and your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. 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 Let my heart and the heart of your children be subject to you. Every confusion of spirit, every misinterpretation of the word of God is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Set myself and everyone on fire. In Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Matthew 25, I read from verse 21 to 23. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. 22. He also that has received two talents came and said, Lord, Thou deliverest, deliverest unto me two talents. Look, I have paid two other talents beside them. Twenty-three, this Lord said unto me, Why don't go and take two servant? Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Take note of this. Enter thou. Into the joy of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the topic before you and I said, at the end, I mean, who shall welcome you at the end of your journey? Who is that waiting to welcome you and I after we have departed from this world? Who shall welcome you at the end of your journey? As we may know, you and I, we are in a journey. We are in a car. We are in one of one flight. We are in one uh, train. Traveling. And one day we shall arrive. But who is just standing at the airport? Who is just standing at that uh, train station to welcome you? Is he your father or your mother? Meaning, is he God or the devil? Who shall welcome you and I? at the end of our journey. The Bible told us where we just went. At the end of it, it said, enter down into the door of who or the Lord. The question to me now and to you, who is your Lord 
because it is your Lord. Whosoever you meet your Lord will be the one to welcome you at the end of the journey. Who is that person waiting for me patiently? Who is that person? Who is that person? The permitted to put person that I meet God or a general one. Waiting for you and I patiently to welcome us at the end. I say, hey, my son, my daughter, hey, at the end, you are welcome back home. The Bible told me and you in the book of Romans, chapter 6. For you to Romans 6, verse 16. He said something else. Romans 6, 16 said, Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourself servant to obey, is servant ye are to whom ye, ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. And so ever that is your Lord here on earth, will be the one to welcome you. But who is my Lord and who is your Lord? We may say, yeah, Jesus Christ is my Lord, yes. But it's my own deed reflects who I made my Lord. Because whosoever, was, whosoever the work I am doing, the life I am living, the life you are living is reflected. Behold, that is the person that will welcome you at the end of your journey. If my work represents Christ, if my living represents Jesus Christ, it may definitely mean he will be the one to welcome you, welcome me at the end. But if my life and my living is reflecting the devil, because he just said now, to whom you yield yourself to obey, is whom you are servant to. No other, it is the person you are servant to that will welcome you. You can never expect whom you are not servant to, to come to tell you and welcome my son, welcome my daughter. It's not going to be possible. Who, who is that one among God and the devil? That is going to welcome you at the end of your journey that you, you and I are running right now. Who am I yielding to? Who am I servant to? Am I servant to God or I am servant to the devil? It doesn't matter how who we prefer to, to, to be a servant to. It is the hand that tells who we have. Ever be a servant. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Who would you subject yourself to living for here on earth? We be the one that is raising, you know, if you are going physically, we don't know, actually know who our God looks like. Physically, you don't actually know how they will look like. You know, if you travel by plane at times, even by uh, any other means, what happens? If they send somebody to come and receive you, you know what they do? Like, you know, they will write a uh, no paper like this, write the name, to tell you this is a... Uh, so immediately you see that person, you will not get this is the who is there to receive me. But the question to me and you right now, who is having a banner? Let me call it a banner in his or hand. I mean in his hand now, I'm on door and the devil telling to show that he is the one that is that have been expecting you here. I, I I was told that your flight left so 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 far. So I am here to receive you. Who is that one holding is holding the, the banner to welcome you at the end of our 
actually. That is why we must think twice. That is why we must examine ourselves to know who we are servant to. Because it is said, where sweet water is coming out from, it's not possible for, for bitter water to be coming out. It's whom you are working for that is there to welcome you. It's whom you yield yourself to that is waiting patiently to welcome you. Will you be, the Bible told us, the, 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 the wise and the foolish. Who are we before God? And or who are we going to be before God? Be the foolish virgin or the wise virgin? Who are the foolish virgin? And who shall uh, and who is the wise virgin? The Bible told us in the book of Colossians uh, uh, chapter three. Colossians chapter three. I read from verse one. From verse one to now. Colossians chapter three. He said, "If ye then be risen with Christ, see those things which are above, where Christ sitting on the right hand of God." Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Meaning, the people who set their self, before we continue, who seek the things above, where Christ seated, are the wise. In other hands, those who set their affection on things above, not on things on earth, are those the wise. But you will move further. For ye are dead and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Is my life and your life hidden in Christ in God? Because if it's not hidden in Christ in God while we are living, many is hidden in, in devil and in hell. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And in verse 4, he said, When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. <laughs> Where are men going to appear? Is it in glory or in the other hands? Where are you going to appear? Who are you going to appear with? Is it the devil in hell or Jesus Christ in heaven? The, the time to determine it is now. The time to say it is now. The time to walk towards it is now. The time to do it is now. He said, in verse, in verse 5, this is, the, this is where we are going to. Multiply therefore your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanliness, inability, affection, evil confusion, and covetousness, which is our voluntary. What are we talking about? The foolish can never multiply themselves. It is the way that multi that are uh, that multiply yourself. If you refuse, I refuse to multiply our members upon the earth. You must not wait for Mr. A and B to tell you who will welcome you at the end. Don't wait for Mr. C, Sister C to tell you who will welcome you at the end. You just have to know by yourself. Who is ready to welcome you? When Saul arrived here, the devil called him fool. When uh, uh, Judas and Carol arrived here, the devil called him fool. Will that be called fool, foolish, or wise at the end? As I said before, the wise multiply their members upon the earth, but the foolish never have time for that. They live their life anyhow. They have time to gossip. They have time to fornicate. They have time to lie. They have time to bust eye and to, 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 to destroy somebody's name. They have time to, to, to hate. They have time to, 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 to envy. They have time for malice. They have time for all kinds of things. And the Bible said in, 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 in verse 
on which things see the wrath of God coming on the children of disobedience. Meaning, if you are still in that level, who is refusing to modify yourself now? Behold, the wrath of God is yet abiding on you. And no one that is with the wrath of God can be welcomed as a faithful servant at the end of the journey. And he said in verse, in verse eight, uh, 6, and in verse 7, in, in the which ye also walk sometime when ye live in them. The problem is that the Bible says sometime, meaning it's trying to tell us that when man is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, behold, all things become new. All things are passed away, behold, all things become new. But it's unfortunate that many of us, the hold are not yet passed away. And when the hold are not yet and the hold are not passed away, and we arrive in arrive eternity, don't expect God to welcome you. The devil will welcome, he will get to welcome and say you are be a foolish person. You are be, I thought. You cannot mention the name of the devil. I thought, I thought that righteous man will save you. Or you thought that he will save you. But not knowing he, he was ready to save you, but you need to save yourself. In verse 8, he said, But now ye also put off all this anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, pity, communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another. Saying that ye have put on the old man with his days. Ah, my old man with is this still yet in me in you. If that is if that is in you, meaning not Christ will welcome you after your journey. Who shall welcome you at the end of your journey? It's a question. Customer is there. It's not left for me to say, Oh, we welcome you. But I want you to understand what it is. My saying it will not make it happen. If I say it and there's no, no discipline, if I say it, there's no practical, if I say it, there's no seriousness, I'm on my own. And you too are on your own. Praise the name of the Lord. Ha. Hallelujah. So it's only those who put off those things, wrath, malice, anger, pride, lust, and every other evil things, are expected to be welcomed by Christ. Are expected to appear before God. The Bible told me, and you in the book of uh, 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 Psalm, Psalm chapter what? Psalm chapter four. I mean chapter twenty-four. Psalm. 24. Say something very important for me. These are the people who Christ will welcome. These are the people who Christ will not welcome. Psalm 24. I read from verse, uh, from the verse, verse uh, 3. He said, Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Meaning, in another hand, who shall be welcomed by God and earth? Who shall enter the glory of God and earth? Or who shall stand in this holy place? Remember, heaven is a holy place. That is why that song said, Do you want to live in heaven? You better be heavenly conscious. You better live a holy life. Because heaven is a holy place. Heaven is a holy place. The place is so holy that it cannot accommodate any, any uh, uh, angry person. It cannot uh, uh, accommodate any person with the, the, the dicks of the devil. He moved further and said, He that have clean hands is my hand clean. If my hands are clean, meaning in Jesus Christ that is going to welcome me. If your hands are clean, meaning in Jesus Christ that is going to welcome you. In another hands, if my hands and your hands is dirty, expect the devil to call you an eye fool. But I pray, 
that that will not be you your portion. It will not be my portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And he said, and a pure word is my heart and your heart pure. Remember the book of Matthew five eight. Only the people that are pure in heart shall see God. Not only see Him, because definitely, as we know, every eye will see Him, but if not everyone will enter Him. Is my heart pure? If my heart is not pure, there is a problem. You should know fully. Just know by yourself. Don't wait for Mr. A and Sister B to come and tell you who will welcome you. If my heart and your heart are not pure, just it is the left man that is standing with a banner. And the Lord will deliver us from the side in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And he said, Who had not what lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor swan be set free. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Six, this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek the thy face, O oh, Jacob. Do you seek the face of God? Many those that have clear heads, have pure heart, are the ones seeking God. Whom are you seeking? Whom are you serving? What the reason what is your reason of even serving this God? Is it because of earthly things? That is why many people immediately something are going on in their life. They, they, they quit the cross. Why? Because they are just telling you, this is why I give my life to Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible told me and you, in the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 21 that we know very well, verse 27. Revelation 21, verse 27. He said, And there shall he no hear that. It's a serious matter. And there shall he hear that uh, it's, uh, the, it's a lot to draw. The Bible will have drawn it to, make, to let you know how serious it is. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that they fall. That is why Jesus Christ will not be here to welcome you at your journey on earth if you do not give yourself to obey him quite clearly. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that they fall. Neither whosoever walketh abomination, every sin is abomination, or maketh a lie. For they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. If your name is not written in the book of life before you bring the last breath, forget about it. Your name can never automatically enter into the book of life after the door. It must be when you are alive. Because there's no repentance in the grave. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, um, nothing will make anything defile it at the kingdom of God. Because you will not go and pollute heaven. Lies. You that is attaching yourself, you say you call yourself a Christian. Whenever you are here, you are, uh, listen to me. You go and put false hair, and you are expecting Christ to welcome you at the end. You are, you are just on your own. You are joking. You put false, uh, 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 false fingers, alight your eyes. You call faith yourself. Don't expect Christ to be the one to welcome you. It's not going to be possible. You, 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 you are saying. God sees the heart. Oh, God, look at the heart. But the truth that you just put on was decided from the inside before you put it on. Okay. Your, your outward man was not the one who told you to put on the other. It is your spirit man, your inner man that decides for you. 
It comes from the hand before you wear that white color. It's not from the answer. So stop deceiving yourself by saying God sees the heart. The Lord God is it is in the heart that God is looking at. You make yourself you 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 will put on a, a, a what they call it a, this high heel, and when you are walking, your shape is another way. You are just making yourself. You are just making a lie, and don't expect Christ to welcome you. It's not going to be possible. What are those abominable things, sister, brother, in your life? Any form of sin you may see in you, just know it's an abomination before God. So let's deal with it now. Deal with it because devil is angrily waiting for you. And Christ is happily waiting for you if you are also living for him. Anyone you are waiting for is a joy to them. The devil is joyful to see that you, uh, when, uh, 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 you are living in sin. Jesus Christ is also joyful to see that you are living holy. So therefore, try your best to live for Christ. If you must be welcomed into heaven at the end of this journey that you and I are into, it's a serious matter, sister, brother. The Bible told us in the book of that same, uh, Revelation 21, 21 verse 8. It says, but the fearful, are you fearful and unbelieving, unbelieving, and the abominable and murderers and murderers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and breast to which is what is second death. Is it heaven that is good to welcome you? Is it heaven that is good to welcome you? It's a matter of question that you and I need to answer by our own self. Who are we using ourselves to? Is it Christ? Is it Jesus Christ? Sister, brother, there's no time to think about it and examine ourselves before it's too late. You know yourself, I you know myself. You know that error in you. You know that thing in you. Why not deal with it now? You must be welcome by God. But if he also fails to deal with it, there must be somebody waiting for you in heaven. That is there must be somebody waiting for you in the train station with a banner. One must, among the two cannot wait for you at the same time. It must be one. One of them, not by the left one, by the left side, or the right side. One must be there. They will not leave you empty. No. They will not let you waste your time in uh, looking for the address. No, 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 no. They are, they are ready to leave whatever they are doing. Christ is ready to leave whatever he's doing. When you are coming to meet him and that, and that day to welcome you and say, my faithful son, you are going well, welcome. My faithful daughter, you are going well, welcome. And the devil is also ready to leave anything he's doing to also come and say, welcome you, uh, you, you fool. I pray God will help me, God will help you, will not be counted among the foolish at the end in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And because of time, lastly, Revelation 16, verse 15, says something. Okay, Revelation 16, verse 15. It said, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watch them and keep them in his garments. Let me he walk naked and they are seen, and they see his shame. Many. For me to be welcomed by God, I must be a watchful son. I must be a watchful son. You must be a watchful daughter, a watchful son. If Christ must be the one to welcome us. But if we decide to also sleep, we sleep it until somebody comes to knock on our door. It's not good, as I said before. 
somebody must be there to work somebody. What? Question for me, are you? Who? You welcome you. And I, at the end of our journey. When you shall stand before your maker, when we shall stand before our maker, what is the one to be here? Is it welcome, my faithful servant, or the past I know you? I want you to talk to Jesus, for thy strength shall no man prevail. I don't need I don't need any man to force me to do the right thing. Maybe I don't know about you. We talk to God and say, God, I don't want to be welcomed by the devil. I don't want to be called fully. The Bible says in the book of uh, uh, John uh, 8 44, you are of your father the devil. He did that what in that word, God is going to tell you, I'll be of your father, the devil. Get out of, from, out of my side. You have no place in this place. I'm going to talk to God, Father. Anything in my life that will make me to be welcomed by the devil, that will make me to be welcomed as a foolish woman, as a foolish man, Father, I surrender that thing to you now. Have mercy and take it away from me. Open your mouth and talk to God if you understand in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And above all, many have discouraged. Maybe, for example, you try to leave uh, to, to, to depart from something that is not coming for you. Just give up. I'm going to pray, Father, give me the grace not to give up. To give up, please. Not to give up on whatever I need to do that will save my soul at the end. That is one. And secondly, I'm going to pray. In addition, say, Father, don't allow the devil to be the investor of my soul at the end of the journey. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and talk to God. Thank you. 
Are you out there? You have heard the word of God. The Lord has talked to us, has talked to those you know. I believe for you to, for him to have given you the privilege to listen, we also love you. But if you have not given yourself to Christ, why not do it fully now? So that you can escape that day of loss. Give yourself to Christ, compare that your sin, no matter what you have done, the Lord is ready to forgive you if you are ready to confess and forsake it. And as you do that, I want you to move forward to call on the men of God of this morning for baptism or for cancelling. And as you do so, I know the Lord Almighty is ready to the men of God to do that need in your life and at the end your life more remain the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 As we also pray together, Father in heaven, I thank you for the life of this one and have given their life to you this day. I pray you will hold them and strengthen them, that they will not fall back from the way they have just begun this day with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 My Father and my God, I ask for your mercy that we set the fire, O God, of this message. That it is there anyhow, anywhere I have it or I so it. Is there any Bible verses you wanted me to have that I never, that I plead for mercy on God? Whatever that will make this day to stand against me at the end of my journey as well. Father, have mercy and forgive me, deliver me of that thing. I pray, Father, as we your children have prayed to you, help us so my strength shall no man prevail. Father, have mercy upon us and work on us of perfection. That you help us, O God, we have no power to multiply our members upon the earth. Help us to do it, O God. We are ready, we are willing. Many of us are willing, God, to live for you holy, righteously. But the devil is fighting. Have mercy and fight and give up victory over Satan, over that sin, over that attitude, that nature. That character, that sin and habit in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, I pray, let every yoke of sin in our lives, every yoke of iniquity, Father, be broken and shattered by your blood this day. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 Whatever it is that we are giving sin and joy over our soul that is making it for the last and say you can be doing your evangelism, you can be preaching. You can be uh, 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 fasting. You can be traveling from one country to the other, preaching or doing evangelism. You can be singing. But with that character, that attitude, that nature, that habit I'm seeing in you, I know you will become full at the end. Father, today, let that thing be destroyed of our lives uh, that we will be giving sick and joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you because your mercy has prevailed over judgment. The blood of Christ has given us victory over Amen. that sin, Amen. over that satanic property Amen. that we have been happy in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we will not stand against any of us at the end. We shall all rejoice and the, the only man that we raise up banner waiting for us patiently to welcome us and be Jesus Christ at the end of our journey in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you because I know your mercy, O oh God, has prevailed over judgment and it is done. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed with thanks Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.